After several hours, closing arguments come to an end tonight in the criminal trial of Donald Trump. And now the fate of the former president expected to be in the jury's hands by tomorrow. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. A later night than normal in court as the arguments went up until the judge's 8 p.m. deadline tonight. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more. This is a very dangerous day for America. Donald Trump was said to be confident arriving at court this morning, flanked by several members of his family. Today in closing arguments, prosecutors said Trump schemed with Michael Cohen and former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker in an alleged conspiracy and cover-up, burying scandalous stories while Trump ran for president and falsifying records related to the $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels, all of which Trump has denied. Did you know about the Cohen has previously testified that Trump directed him. Mr. Trump is a con man. He asked me to pay off an adult film star with whom he had an affair. But Trump's defense team hammered away at Cohen's credibility, claiming he lied on the stand and called him the gloat, the greatest liar of all time. Closing arguments went well into the evening. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in court. A long day for jurors today, but they have been focused, they have been paying attention, and they've been taking notes as well. Tensions flared when lead defense attorney Todd Blanche told the jurors, you cannot send somebody to prison based upon the words of Michael Cohen. That enraged Judge Juan Mershon, who clarified a prison sentence is not required in this case, even in conviction, and instructed them to disregard the remark. Why did Blanche do it? Because he knew he could get away with it. Uh, it's uh, It was a cheap shot. Uh, he got away with it. Today, for the first time, the Biden campaign held a campaign event steps from the courthouse with Robert De Niro, who wasn't afraid to face off with pro-Trump demonstrators. You're nobody! You're trash! You're not going to intimidate. That's what Trump does to Trump. We are going to fight back. You're washed up. Tomorrow, the judge gives final instructions to the jury. It's those jury instructions that's going to tell the jury what the law is and what they need to find to show whether the, the government has proven its case beyond a reasonable doubt. And jury deliberations will likely begin after those judges' final instructions. The Biden campaign told CBS News that it held an event today because it's setting the stakes for the first presidential debate next month. And they want to frame Trump not just as a defendant, but as a threat to American democracy. Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you. And when the jury begins deliberations and reaches a verdict, we will have you covered. Look for updates on air and streaming on CBS News New York.